All right, let's see what's in here. <laughs> Hey guys, if you watched my previous three videos, you already know that I bought three storage units for $4,000. I've done deep dives on the first two storage units, and now I'm gonna do a deep dive on this storage unit and show you guys everything that's in here. This is the biggest of the three units. It is 20 foot by 30 foot, and it's kind of like a double unit, and then it's just connected in the middle. And there is a lot of stuff in here um, I've already spent a day going through and trying to throw out some trash and some miscellaneous crap and just make it to where like I can actually walk through here there wasn't that much of a walkway beforehand but at least now I can get through most of this with a little bit of ease and get all the way to the back without too much trouble and as you can see there's just stuff everywhere it is absolutely packed in here the guy I bought this from really liked luggage. Uh, you can see there's probably 20 or 30 suitcases and train cases back there. Just a ton of that stuff. This one right here is pretty neat. This, I believe, is some kind of like cat carrier or like, vin you know, vintage pet carrier. Like if you're going on a plane or something or taking your pet to the vet. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. There's a lot of artwork in here and I've kind of got it organized. And artwork is a very, very tricky thing because I really don't want to ship the stuff. I guess I could list it locally, um, but I think finding the right buyers can be tough sometimes. I do know of a couple auction houses that seem to specialize in artwork. So I might be taking them some of that. This one piece in particular right here stood out to me. This, uh, it really looks like a Charlie Harper style print. If you guys know uh, Charlie Harper, he's a local Cincinnati artist, but he's mostly known for doing animals. Like I've seen a lot of animal Harper prints, but that just looks like a Harper. And I, I think the print is like shifted down a little bit. So you, I can't really see, can't make out what the artist is, but there's some interesting pieces. In the last unit I showed you, there was a ton of furniture, and there's a pretty good amount of furniture in here, too. Got rocking chairs, some office chairs, more office chairs, tables. This is a pretty nice, like, end table right here. Here is a beautiful bookcase. Looks like you had it in the antique mall. Globe Warnicky Four Stack Barrister Bookcase. Made in Cincinnati, Ohio. He was asking 500 bucks. Not sure that it's worth that, but... I'm sure somebody would want it it's pretty cool these um these all come apart so it's four separate pieces got more lamps in here there's like tons of floor lamps more vacuums two or three vintage vacuums in here there's a dresser or two dressers two dressers a desk more tables more chairs this is, this is an old commode <laughs> and this right here is uh pieces to an ashtray like a freestanding uh, ashtray i think so like this is the the top to it and there the bottom i'm sorry and then i think you would put the ashtray up here so smoking stand ashtray whatever they call them oh this is cool this is a uh, vintage handmade megaphone tcs might be some kind of school or something some old disney vhs we all know how much those are worth a friend told me that this is the version that was uh, banned because there was an error in the uh, image that they printed. I'm not going to go into detail on that one, but you guys can Google that if you're curious. I don't think it's really worth anything, unfortunately. Bunch more Hot Wheels in this one. I'm not sure how old they are, if they're vintage, red line. I don't know if there's anything like that, but I'm not going to be spending the time trying to find valuable ones. I've just been putting up wholesale lots on the website and uh, that's what I'm going to do with these too. Looks like he was trying to get a dollar each. There's a little bit of new in the packaging stuff too. Here's some kind of picture light. I think there's another picture light up here. I remember seeing some headphones that were new in the packaging. Some kind of metal sign. Shamrock oil and gas. Hippies use the back door. That's cool. I might just keep that. Some old toolboxes, and this one right here, the guy actually pointed this out to me when he sold me the units. 
I'm sorry, they're doing some kind of like alarm system thing they do every Wednesday, I apologize. Uh, this is an old snap-on uh, toolbox. I don't know if it says it on this side, or it says it on the other side, there it is. You might not be able to see that, but it does say snap-on right there. That's pretty cool. Here's an old radio. Musophonic. Unfortunately, it's cracked on top. That's too bad. It has a pretty neat look to it, though. I don't know what this is. Some kind of like 1980s 3D artwork. It's pretty funky. I'm not, I'm not sure if somebody would still want that. Somebody went to a lot of trouble framing it up, though. I, I can see that. Here's a big box of 45 records. It's like four or five Raggedy Ann and Andy dolls. A whole bunch of stir sticks and Pez dispensers. Camcorder. Look at this. There's even ammunition in here. Here's a whole other big crate of records underneath this fire truck. I love this piece right here. This is a vintage decoupage purse, and I found one. Um, and another one of the units looks like he was asking $46 for it. Old Cincinnati Stingers that's um, an old Cincinnati hockey team, so that kind of dates us probably to the 70s. If I had to guess, a little mirror in there. There's the Loveland Castle, yeah, that's a cool piece. Here's those headphones I was talking about. Let's see, what are these? Honeywell Sync Headphones, bidfta.com. So it looks like this guy got this from Fast Track Auctions. So it was probably some kind of Amazon return at some point. There's a big metal vintage dollhouse. Not in the best condition, unfortunately. Some more records, Life magazines. Found a couple yearbooks. I love going through old yearbooks. I know this is kind of strange because yearbooks really aren't worth a whole lot. 20 30 bucks and they take a really long time to sell but i just love going through them because it's like going back in time this one is from taft high school in cincinnati from 1970 some old costumes they were putting on the play or something well wow, look at all these old football uniforms i found a whole lot of books and i was trying to label them as i went through so i've got one two three four five six banana boxes stacked up those are all full of books a lot of these are books and then just tons of just vintage miscellaneous <laughs> paper ephemera i was trying to label stuff as i went along that whole tote down there is sports cards this whole tote down there is records i didn't even like want to start tackling these suitcases i just left them like they were and just piled some more stuff up i didn't know what to do with them there's some golf clubs in here and surprisingly they're pretty nice. A um, set of Callaway Big Bertha irons. And then there are two King Cobra uh, fairway woods. Let's see here. This is an Odyssey two ball putter. This is a Callaway driver. This is a nice momentous putter. Yeah, there's actually, you know, I'd say $200 or so worth of golf clubs. The irons themselves are probably 80 to 100 bucks. Found a lot of Christmas ornaments in here, and a lot of them were kind of vintage, so if they were just new, junky ones, I probably would have just trashed them. But I thought they might have some value. I've seen people sell Christmas, you know, vintage Christmas ornaments and do okay with them. A couple nice mirrors back here with some antique wood frames. This is pretty neat. Some kind of handmade feather headdress or something. There's a mirror in the center there. That's strange. Lots of old toys. Just a whole bunch of Fisher Price toys and stuff. I think this is all fishing line. Berkeley Tri Line. Strand. Big stack of lawn chairs. This one is not in too good a shape, but some of the other ones are okay. I think there's a pretty good market for these, especially this time of year. Spring, summer, it seems like when those would sell. These right here are very peculiar. I'm not entirely sure what they are, but there is like at least 10 or 15 of them. So the only thing I could see is it says Bosch PBT GF20. 
Yeah, GF20. Um, and I think I Googled that and I saw something about like uh, motors for a uh, car window. And I guess the width of this seems about right. Like, but I, I don't know if that's what that is or not. And it makes sense if they're like, you know, paired in twos, if there's a left and a right. I really have no idea. These, these could be really cool. They could be totally worthless. But yeah, I think that's what those are. More Fisher Price toys. A little mini bus. The old Fisher Price phone. Oh, this is cool. Is this an Etch a Sketch? Not an Etch a Sketch. Keying kit for tubular entry locks. Oh my god. Well, that looks like a whole bunch of fun. Here's a nice display case. A guy thought pretty highly of this. $295 price tag. But did not sell. So. Who knows what that's actually worth. Nice big trunk right here. I think there's another one floating around here somewhere. I didn't even notice these yesterday. What in the world? These are the ugliest TV trays I've ever seen. Oh, those are hideous. Tried to put all the smaller artwork here. Um, I was originally thinking I'd have it all between those two beams to flip through it, you know, kind of easily, but there just wasn't enough space, so I put them over here. Um, the guitar... I showed a little bit in the previous video. It's nothing special. Um, it's a Mark II brand acoustic, kind of like an off-brand. I mean, it might be worth 50 bucks, something like that. This is really cool. This is a blow mold elephant toy chest, and they seem to be selling on eBay for like 50, 60 bucks. I'm really not crazy about shipping the thing, but there's some value there. And here's another elephant. King Tusk, largest land mammal traveling the earth from Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus. I don't know if there's a year on here, but that is pretty neat. Oh, and there's another one. Looks like there's another elephant back there. Lion cookie jar, rubber chicken, a little bit of everything in this unit. Some more blow molds, it's got Christmas, Halloween some knife blocks I don't know that they're cut co unfortunately what's this one William Sonoma still in the plastic Wusthof here's some golf shoes still in the box Adidas look like women's golf shoes got some folding tables in these units here's some of the trash I've already pulled out that I need to Load in my van and get out of here. But yeah, I've got four folding tables. So next time I decide to have a garage sale, those will help out. Let's see, what is in here? Pepsi headphones. Interesting. Here is an old telescope. Let's see here. 80 power automatic telescope by Gilbert. Another old vacuum, more lamps. Ammo case. This is an old can crusher. Ice tongs. There's no shortage of vintage stuff in these units. Here is a freestanding salon mate professional dryer. So when you just like put your head over this and <laughs> like close your hair dry, that's crazy. There's some kind of old mid-century clock probably shouldn't have been crushing it with this box so i pointed this out a little bit in a previous video that there's a lot of vintage clothing in this unit i think it's primarily jackets it's kind of sad i haven't even been able to clear enough space out of here to really look at these properly so i think like half of this is like suit jackets i'm gonna walk around to the other side some more suit jackets i think some of these are winter coats this looks like some kind of fur Let's see what we got here. Carl F. Smith Custom Furrier, Rochester, New York. It feels real. I really haven't dealt in furs or anything, so I don't know too much about them. Here's another fur. Rikes, Dayton, Ohio. Here's a jacket. William Berry. Some more suit coats. What do we got here? Some kind of vest, maybe? What is this thing? 
Gino Paoli, made in Italy, 100% wool vest. Here's another vest. McGregor Summit Needled Custom Construction Made in USA. That's kind of cool. Some people were asking me if I had any uh, vintage t-shirts. I've not found any kind of vintage t-shirts in the units. It's pretty much all this jackets and stuff like that. This jacket right here looks kind of interesting. I'm going to see if I can pull this out. Well, I got two for one. All right, let's see what we got. This green one. Um, I think this is military. Kind of old military jacket. And then this is Woolrich. Size 42. Looks pretty nice. Here's some kind of corduroy jacket. And then on this rack, let's see, what on earth is this? Some kind of dragon that somebody embroidered on there. That's kind of interesting. Let's see, this is C.E. Schmidt workwear. We got three redhead brand long sleeve shirts or short sleeve shirts. There's a long sleeve redhead. Another redhead. And then some leather jackets some old games up here and then there is a really nice cabinet and I have not even looked in here yet so we're gonna open this up and see what's in there the shelving in this unit is really handy um, this looks some kind of handmade thing that he did himself but then over there there's at least six or seven shelves all right, let's see what's in here. And barely open it the way it's situated. Case knife, case, empty, unfortunately. Looks like some bubble mailers in there. Oh, well, this is cool. Back in here, there's Santa Russian nesting dolls made in China. Old dollhouse stuff. I think this is a flute. Yep, some kind of flute there. Snoopy doll, some kind of pitcher, USA, Pez dispensers, Hot Wheels, old Pyrex, snap hook as seen on TV, some kind of McDonald's Hello Kitty, another McDonald's toy. Let's see, what do we got here? Some kind of rolled up print. Here's some old cast iron. Let's see what he had this labeled as. Griswold number eight waffle iron, circa 1901, $75. Here's some kind of like card thing, Kitten's Voyage, Rand McNally Tiny Elf. It's a different. What do we got here? Pool balls, billiard balls. Here's some kind of case for uh, silverware, I think. Some skeleton stuff. Oh, that's pretty sweet looking. A little flashlight. A little bit of everything in here. Some more cast iron under here. Ugh. Enamel wear bedpan. Kind of gross kind of jewelry right there. I don't know if these are just empty bubble mailers or what. It looks like it. Huh. What's over here? That's just an empty box. Some books down here. There's some kind of tray. Let's see what this says on the back. Kirok. Korok. I'm probably mispronouncing, mispronouncing that. Kirok is in unique. Monterey, California. Hmm. There's a globe. More trays. Here's some kind of tile. Huh. John Beasley, handmade in the USA. A couple of ducks. Let's see, down here we got a jump starter. Here's some cast iron. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry, that's not cast iron. This is like some kind of plaster or something, nativity scene. More books back in there. Some pottery, Coleman lantern. All right, I think I've seen enough. We can close this thing back up. 
I want to show you guys these right here. I labeled these mini Disney figures just so I remembered where I put them, but I've never seen anything like this. I'm, I'm curious if you guys know what they are. So this whole top drawer is full of these tiny hand-painted Disney figures. We've got a dwarf right here. There's a Mickey. And he's got a little ball on the bottom. There's Donald Duck. I don't know what this character is. There's Pinocchio. Some more dwarves. Yeah, I have no idea what these are, but they kind of caught my eye. So if you guys know something about them, please let me know. There's Dumbo. Both of these shelves right here is like all film stuff. Uh, film projectors, carousels, all that stuff. Here's a pretty cool piece. This is a wall hanger, uh, like for a kid's room. It's a carousel. You got a monkey, a giraffe, elephant, a lion. Let's see here. It is labeled Universal Statuary Corporation, Chicago, 1979. Looks like he got it at the thrift store for $2.99. Oh, this is an awesome piece right here. I didn't know what this was. I had to send a picture of this to my friend Tony. So, Tony, if you're watching this, thanks for the information about this, man. I appreciate it. This is an old Lucite figure. Uh, the artist is Abraham Palatnik, and it's just signed PAL, P-A-L. And um, yeah, I guess this is worth like 50, 60 bucks. And uh, Palatnik did, you know, other animals too. There's like leopards and elephants and lions and all kinds of stuff. So keep an eye out for these. That is it for all the storage units, guys. I really appreciate you watching all the deep dives that I've done with these. And check out my website. I'll put a link down below. I'm trying to put wholesale lots on there at least once or twice a week i really don't want to try to maximize every dollar out of these units i'd rather just sell stuff in bulk and get out from under the rent i'm paying 500 dollars in rent on these storage units so i'd really rather try to sell these in months and not years even if i could get down to like one of the storage units i'd be really happy if you guys live locally in cincinnati and you want to walk through these feel free to shoot me a message and we'll schedule a time for you to come look at them. I'm just doing one person at a time. We're both gonna wear masks, kind of keep our distance, just stay safe, be smart about it. If you guys missed out on the first round of wholesale lots, follow me on Instagram. I'll put my link down below, it's at Cincinnati Picker. Every time I list wholesale lots, I will put it on my Instagram to give you guys a heads up. That way, if there's something you're wanting to buy, you won't miss out on it. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.